afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the San Diego Padres and the Pittsburgh Pirates. At the plate, Juan Ligares, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. 3-2 pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next 3-2. And that misses ball four. So a good battle to begin the ball game today. But the leadoff man will reach first anyway. The first baseman. First baseman Eric, Eric Hosmer is huh. in. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's three for nine. And he hey. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So striding forward left. now. Tommy Pham. Nine at bats yeah. for him in the series so far. And he's collected a pair of hits. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The one-two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Now at the plate, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Slow roller left side fielded cleanly and that's out number one. And that will bring in Adam Frazier. The left fielder Adam Frazier. And he missed with that one it's ball four a one out walk here in the home first. Coming to the plate now, Brian Reynolds. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. All even now, two and two. Frazier leads off first with one away. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Josh Bell, the next to hit, comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. The 1-1. Nope, inside, ball two. Swing and a miss, 2 and 2 now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Two out with the man at first. Sinker. Three and two now. Three, two. Two out. Runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hard hit ball to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Here's Manny Machado now. They'll get us started in the top of the second. Fouled off. Sharp ground ball to third. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Will Myers. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Skied into very shallow right. Under this one is Polanco, and he's got it for the first out. 
So one got in the inning here with a runner at first. And that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman Brian Dozier. The 1-1. Taken. Strike two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. He's set and the 2-2 pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping into the box, Francisco Mejia, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Two balls and a strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Two and two count. Here it comes. Hit hard down the right field line. But that's a foul ball. The two two. Hit down the line at first. Bell scoops it up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Colin Moran. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one-two is laid off for ball two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Machado has it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Here's Gregory Polanco, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Struck him out. Striding into the box, Jacob Stallings. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bottom of the second here with no score. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Rounded weakly to the left, and Machado with the bare hand. Wow. the plate Joey Lucchese as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one and the Padres pitcher behind with a one and two count tough pitch to lay off there but he did and it's even up at two and two A swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Ready for another chance? Eric Hosmer. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get. And the Friars are into the hit column. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in now, Cole Tucker. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two.
Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. One away now in the Pittsburgh third. And that will bring up the San Diego area native pitcher Joe Musgrove. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now back. Riding in once again, Kevin Newman. Newman. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now back, left field. Standing in now, Adam Frazier. He'll stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He set the 2 2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And this misses for ball four. The That's second walk he's surrendered here in the first three innings. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Again, another foul ball. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. This is foul right side. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Stepping into the box, Tommy Pham. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away, and that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. And in steps Manny Machado. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Skied into straightaway right. Polanco giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next, the dangerous power threat, Josh Bell. Here's the one and one delivery. Popped him up. Hosmer waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Colin Moran. Swung on and missed three and two. A bouncer to the left side. 
And that's the second out. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Gregory Polanco looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So here's Will Myers comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here now the 2 2. Hard hit to first. Bell picks it up and he'll step on first himself for the out. At the plate, Brian Dozier. So far 0 for 1 with a fly out. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ball game for the Padres. And he looks at one in there, 1 and 2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Scooped up, and there's out number two. Now at the plate, Francisco Mejia. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. The pitcher, number 37, Joey Lucchese. At the plate now, Joey Lucchese. One and two. One and two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Weak roller right side. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Joe Musgrove. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, just one hit and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Push to the right side. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Here's Juan Ligares. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here now the 2 2. He is laid off and the count runs full. On deck, there's Eric Hosmer. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the six. Now batter. The first Ready once again, Eric Hosmer. 1 for 2 in the ball game thus far. Has a look, now the pitch. Line drive to left. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Steven Brault takes over on the mound here the with nobody out in the, the sixth inning. Tommy. So now to the plate, Tommy Pham. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Popped up. There's one. 
And a good save at first on the offline throw, but they just get one. Digging in once again, Fernando Tatis Jr. And their runners at the corners now. Now a move over to first, and the runner will get back standing. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Here now the 2-2. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. One there. Relay to Bell. The double play, and that's how the inning ends. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Kevin Newman. The 1-2. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Reined in. And the off-balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. So here's Adam Frazier. The 2-2. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. The center fielder, number 10. At the plate, Brian Reynolds. Just hung in there on that one. Runner at first here, one man out. Still two and two. Full count now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. The 2-1 home. Now Bell swings and launches one to right. Myers going back to the track, to the wall. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Matt Strong, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Into the box now, Colin Moran. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Now back, right into the box, Gregory Polanco called strike two. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly by Hosmer. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Up next for the Buckos, Jacob Stallings. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Kyle Crick is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Gerard Dyson is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number six, Gerard Dyson. Grounded to short. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Here's Will Myers. Oh, for two for him to this point. Will Myers. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. 
And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Here's another 2 2. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Bell is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Two outs now in the San Diego seventh, and that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman, Brian Dozier. Two balls and a strike to Dozier. Crick, a six foot four inch right hander. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Digging in the switch hitter, Cole Tucker. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 1 home. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Myers is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Here's Gerard Dyson. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. A 1-1. It's a fastball that misses. One out, nobody on. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that the second baseman, Kevin. Stepping in now, Kevin Newman lofted in the air out toward right center. Myers is after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. Into the box now, Adam Frazier. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Two out here and a runner at second. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. 3-1 count to the left fielder of the Bucks. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. In the air, down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. He's in at second safely. As a run will score on the play as well. Standing in now, Ryan Reynolds hit hard on the ground to the right. Oh, look at Hosmer in time. New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Francisco Mejia. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Greg Garcia will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Bases are empty. One man out. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. two and one. Fastball and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order. One. One one. Chop now to short. Can they get two? Fielded cleanly. The second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. 
Eric Hosmer to the plate now. The first baseman. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. And it's fouled away. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Drew Pomeranz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 15. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Josh Bell. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. The three-two pitch. Hard ground ball to third. And there's one away. Standing in, Colin Moran. He's working on a one for three thus far. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle Ladies curve gentlemen. there, and that's out number two. Eric Gonzalez will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. You're Richard Rodriguez three. comes on now from the pen, hoping to finish five. this one off here in the Number top of the ninth. Victor. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. The 1-1. One, one. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone to lead off the inning. To the plate now, Manny Machado. Three and two now. This is hit sharply to the left side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The right fielder, number four, Will Myers. At the plate, Will Myers. Count is one and two now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Keone Kella answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Brian Dozier will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Ready with the one and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle inning. 
Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Dyson is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Stepping up now, Francisco Mejia. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. San Diego down to their final strike. And he fouls this one off. And now this crowd, a bit over 30,000 strong, comes to their feet. And another foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press, they just came out here played their game and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do well done and the score finishes four to one today the Buccos get their 20th home win this year Stephen Brawl turns the victory in relief in this one his seventh of the year so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this